Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Thursday night, and we have finally beaten every single one RPG for every single month of 2018. It's done, it's finished, and I am so happy about that. A major sense of satisfaction and accomplishment in that. It's a really great personal achievement, honestly. But, <clears throat> for tonight though, now that we've actually beaten our new resolution, it's time now to start to think about some new resolutions and also kind of reflect on the year past. I think it's about that time, it's usually the end of year, it's time for that that, that good, uh, good time to sit down and self-reflect about anything and everything you've actually done on stream, for better and for worse. <laughs> But for, the, for now, though, we're going to kind of just sit on our time just to basically relax and play a little Smash Brothers. It's, it's a good game. It's a fun game. And I personally am going to enjoy it. Unless my stream crashes. There you go. Perfect. Wonderful. The bit rates have dropped to zero. Literally, I'm at 22 kilobytes. Absolutely horrible. I don't know what happened here. Okay. No, wait, we're back. We're back. The, wor the world did not explode. The world did not explode. We don't need the world of light. We don't need the world of light, although I actually don't know what's going on here. It's absolutely terrible. Every time you actually do a, a test, you do a test, it just doesn't want to work anymore. I think that's how it goes. There we go. I think we've sta we have stabilized now. We're good. Little, little, just need to switch over there. So tonight, I want to actually go and just kind of relax and play play the spirit board. So there's a couple things actually happening. Well, soon. So starting tonight, oddly enough, it's actually going to be a fire emblem fest. So basically we're gonna get a bunch of Fire Emblem spirits. I'm actually surprised they're already doing a second event. The first event was Characters with Glasses, now we're doing Fire Emblem. Actually, not as many spirits as I would think. I think she collected a good amount of these spirits, too. I will say, the whole spirit board concept is... It has that gotcha game thing, and it's honestly... Kind of addicting. Oh, just first things first, kind of take care of some business here. There's a few things you can actually unlock in World of Light, and I would definitely recommend, if you're interested in the whole spirit board thing, play World of Light. There are some really good things in World of Light that will actually be very, will be very much a boon to actually enjoying the spirit board itself. So we're actually just going to send these guys. Sorry, was he a three star? It was a three star, actually. Yeah, it was a three star. That would actually be a waste. And this is actually one of those kind of little gotcha game things. You can actually passively. It's actually one of the better ones because you can pace. This allows you to basically passively increase the level of uh, spirits. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm, I'm really getting ahead of myself here for Smash Brothers. So we have the Spirit Board here. This is effectively the, I guess, I guess you would consider like the post-game or parallel to the adventure mode. So every single, every five minutes, there's actually new characters that actually appear on the board, and you can actually challenge them, and they go from novices all the way up to legendary. And if you can actually beat them, so let's take the bullet bill first. Let's take the bullet bill, and you can actually just, well, you can actually just do a fight. We'll actually just do a fight here. We're actually apparently playing Mega Man, because that was apparently the last character I, I selected. I actually, I'm, I actually don't know which character I want to actually sit down and play with tonight. I think we might have, you know, we'll just make it a Mega Man night. We will make it a Mega Man night. I am not, oh my god, this bullet bill. Good start. Good start. So as you might notice, every single 
board has some sort of gimmick. There's a very good reason why we actually lost, aside from my ineptitude. The other core part of it, you're not really just playing Smash Brothers in a challenge right now. They've actually added another layer to it. But let's actually take someone like... Let's, let's take this other novice character, like Star here. So if you actually look up in the upper right hand corner, you can see a shield there. Katana tells you who obviously tells you who you're fighting, so we're fighting We're fighting Greninja, that's who's representing it here. And it even tells you what the conditions are, so the enemy's neutral special has increased power. So he's most more prone to be using his neutral attack. But as you can see here, we actually also have the option to add spirits. You can select your fighter, whoever you want to play as. And then you can add spirits. And there's two types of spirits. There's your primary spirits and then your support spirits. So your primary spirits are something that can go into four categories here. So there's defense ones, there's attack ones, and then there's grappler ones. And it's basically a little rock, paper, scissors game here. So grapplers beat defense, attacker, attackers beat grapplers, and defenders beat attackers. And just this nice little triangle here. But there's actually also a fourth group as well. You can actually play as a neutral character. So we actually have a couple spirits here. So we have Waluigi, we have Rayman here. And they all rank up to different levels here. Like I said, this has a little gotcha game uh, feel. If you're if you ever played Fire Emblem Heroes or a lot of other games, it has that. So you have things like Metal Face here, which is a legendary, or someone like what was it? We have Captain Toad here as a maxed out spirit here. So since we actually have a character, so we can actually take, say, let's take Revolver Ocelot here. So he actually has a, he's actually only a two-star character, but he can, if you actually get to level 99, he can actually evolve into another spirit. And we also have our support spirits here, and every single one of them, they can cost either up to one to three slots, and they each bring their own special effects. So for example, the Elite Beat Agents, if you're in critical health, you, every single stat goes up. They're actually a really good spirit. You can have someone like Brewster, makes you immune to sleep. Silver the Hedgehog has very strong, at, you know, makes you strong throws. And you can even uh, stack up. So you can have something like Madame Culture here. And you can actually just stack a couple of them. Increasing your power exponentially. Unfortunately, things like resistance and stuff, so things like... Uh, Lava for resist won't exactly help you, but you can also stack, say, stamina as well for the stamina fights. Items, unfortunately, you can't, to my knowledge, you can't actually stack. So why don't we actually go into the fight here? Let's take on Greninja. I think this is about an even battle here, given, given the level of, um, given the level of, uh, Revolver Ocelot here. Honestly, Mega Man's kind of a weird character to play. Victory! But with this whole counter system, it basically makes fights a lot harder. But once you actually beat your enemy, you have this little, this little other, other little mini game here. So you can actually, so if you hit the, obviously you hit the trophy here, you unlock the spirit. But if you miss, you end up just taking down a piece of the shield. And of course, if things are too hard for you, you can use shield, uh, bleh, shield spacer. Or a sluggish shield, which obviously slows it down, or just takes down another part of it. Obviously, nice, nice and straightforward. The Zor here just gives you the boomerang. And every time you actually win a challenge, or even if you lose, you actually slowly level up your uh, those characters. And like I said, every single five minutes, something, you know, something does change. We can actually fight, we can fight great Tiger here. And you can see the conditions constantly change. So it's basically, if you've played Melee, it's basically the challenge mode on steroids. Because there's just more and more and more. Oh, and also one, one nice thing, the game's actually pretty smart in actually recognizing what the challenge actually is. 
like we just get two stamina spirits because it does actually take a look it does has a it does a check against the conditions I'm so not used to it man oh no wait serious? Wow. Big Shield's actually good. I'm not good with Mega Man. Oh, I see. There's a cooldown. Okay. Oh, that's a fast one. Ah, darn it. So, if you actually do miss, you can actually pay SP to get another shot. But, as you notice, the shield gets faster. I'm actually surprised I didn't hit the little piece. But like I said, it, this is actually a very fun game mode to kind of just relax with. That's basically what I really wanted to do. If gravity is reduced, it's time battle. I usually actually do a lot of the, let the, uh... The auto, or the spirits just kind of auto-pick. What are you guys doing well tonight? Go! I'm so not used to fighting. I don't know how to feel about this with all this low gravity. I kinda wish Metal Blade was actually on forward. I'm seriously not swing that. Okay, we can just I'm so used to smash controls. Here, damn bloopers. Like I said, just kind of want to relax, because this year has actually been very interesting for streaming. It really has. I mean, Ready? streaming Go! almost every day in itself is not easy. Oh, I can't, get, I can't KO him. I'm so nice. I think the weird part for me is that he just doesn't have a, uh... That's very distracting, actually. But every single spirit has a nice little theme that goes along with it. Although I will say, unfortunately, not like 99% of spirits are completely worthless. Well, actually, maybe they're, maybe they're not worth it. Let me, I'm probably speaking too soon about that. 
I'm probably speaking too soon about it. So there are actually other things in this game here. So like, so let's actually take a fight where I have the disadvantage here. Hello. There we go. Yeah, so you always get a warning, but if you actually do beat your disadvantage, you do actually get more experience and more stuff. So it's a, it's a risk reward sort of deal here. I'm actually surprised like you can't hold attack or charge. That's the weird part for me. Victory! That's the weird part about that. A nice little tribute, honestly, to every single character in this game. So that was like a bigger disadvantage here. So sometimes if you get something you don't like, you can actually kind of just switch things up. It's actually kind of important to actually know what you really, you know, what you kind of really want. So you can actually go here, like... Um, Ashley here, she can actually get you a faster smash meter. It's actually gonna be fighting Meta Knight here. There's move speed, the enemy falls slowly. Ready? You're only a fighter. Go! Okay, now we need these giant. How lovely. Oh, my move speed is. Oh, my move speed is absolute garbage. I never actually played on the Castlevania stage. Did not notice that at all. But you can see how much damage I actually took and how quickly I took it. But there's a lot of, um... There's a lot of, uh, stage hazards you also come up across with. So, like, dangerous high winds are in effect. Periodic earthquakes will shake the stage after a while. Apparently also equipped a uh, trade-off. I, I have higher damage for... Just not enough... Just... Oh dear. Like I said, the rock paper scissors part of this game just kind of makes it fun. It has that strange, that strange addiction, uh, that strange satisfaction of being able to actually play things, or play things like in your way. Yeah, my favorite special moves. Although I will say, this is not a good way to actually learn any character at all. It's actually the worst. I'd honestly say it's the worst, because you're always just fighting very obscure challenges, and you can make yourself incredibly powerful. Ready? Go! Nice. Nice. Mega Man. Mega Man is easy as a character. 
I don't I don't think I'm gonna be good at Mega Man. Oh my god, I just still have one thing you definitely gotta watch out for. Uh keep an eye on what spirit you have. You know, if you're actually having fun. Oh, they favor their up B. Like, trying to figure out why they always just Ponce at the top. Oh no, they favor special moves, that's what it is. Oh my god, the speed that you get in this. What? Victory! You know, it's very fitting for Huey to actually have uh, a stage like that. That was really weird. Of course, when time comes up, <clears throat> you do lose the spirit, but a new one gets added every single time. The enemy is giant, huh? Actually, not do trade off for speed. Thankfully, the game offers more than one solution. Armor equipped. Like I said, there's plenty of different attacks. Let's actually go trade off it. The speed actually does make sense for the high level. Ready? Go! Man is at the very least a fast character. I think the weird part is that basically he's, he's always using his Mega Buster. Like, that's the difficult part about him. He's always, Mega Man's always using his Mega Buster. Hope we get a nice little Dragonite. But you probably noticed I've kind of been fighting just the advanced and the novice characters here. And there's actually a very good reason for that. So, depending on their star level also depends on their difficulty. And it's kind of important to know what your actual power level is in this game. Because you can actually just get absolutely destroyed in this mode. Or in, or in the adventure mode. World of Light is... World of Light is basically the... Like a little, uh, just like a story mode of this. I am. Go! 
I grabbed the bomb again. Grabbed the wrong bomb. Thankfully, though, you could always do uh, you know, shuffle. But there's also board items that you can also that you slowly earn. So there's filler. There's rematch. There's all supports, all primaries. So you can actually kind of go fishing for what you want. Honestly, I don't think that's necessary. So we actually. But there's also, like, I can show you how powerful some things are. So let's use, you know, so you see an ace. An ace is 9,600 in power level, and it's fairly constant, uh, constant. But then you also have a legendary here. 13, almost 14,000. And their, and their checks are incredibly brutal. I mean incredibly brutal. So usually for something like this, you want to actually fight. You know, play your fi uh, you know, play your best. I'm trying to remember what the other rule was here. Poisonous, it's a stamina battle. Thankfully, if you do play... ...play the mode long enough, you will run into some of these things. Like I said, I would definitely recommend before playing the Spirit Board... ...to play World of Light first, at least even a little bit. Just because it helps. I've reduced jump power and it's a stamina battle as well. Against Ganondorf. I do have the advantage, and that advantage Ready? makes a huge Roll! difference. Of course, short hopping character. I can do the short I just learned how to do the short hop with my setup. Probably not. Actually. Oh my jump power. Oh, this is not good to know to not know how to play this game. Come on, Mega Man, you know how to jump you know how to jump jump and shoot man for goodness sakes. Thankfully, the poison immunity actually helps a lot. But if you notice, the higher the level, the harder it is to actually pull this stuff off. This is the worst situation, actually. See, trade off ability. 30 starts damage or start battle 30% damage and slightly increase attack, defense, move speed. So he's pretty much an, he's an all actually. That's really good. That's actually a really good one. But we can also try and take on a legendary. Awesome meteor. Do I actually have any nine? Besides, I think I actually only have Captain Toad actually. Usually for something like this, you want to be able to actually Yeah, you gotta actually play like some of our kind of smarter character. Like super slow armor here actually might be helpful. We're gonna give it a shot. So easy to launch, there's more wind, and only certain Pokemon will appear from the 
first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna run away. Oh, that was actually a really bad combination, actually. That was such a bad decision. Bad decisions were made today. Unfortunately, sometimes things like that can happen. I kind of just kind of want to show off as how how different the power actually can be in this game. Let's go back to Revolt for All Maybe we can actually level them up. I actually want to see something. We did just get a 30% trade off for increased everything. Let's see. We just unlocked him. It should actually be easy. Okay. My date, rank, series, lowest cost. My skill. Let's go by skill. Maybe we can actually find him. Apparently, we need to actually worry about wind. Hey, you got trade off ability. Dangerously high winds are in effect after a while. I'm also surprised like how many soundtracks they've actually put into this game. want you to do, really. Like, I don't understand Mega Man well enough. Uh-oh. Let's not sink like a rock, please. So the AI is also determined by their, um, by their rank as well. Like, that legendary fight, usually people will lose in the first two seconds. Just because of how difficult it actually is. Who's this guy? Amato Adventure. That's interesting. I'm actually, actually, no, I do have a good neutral. I freaking, uh, I have a Banana Waddle D. Or bandana. Oh, there's another banana. Go! Oh, right, that's actually bad. I'm so bad at this.
Damn it as well. Oh no! I don't know how I lived on that one. No, don't! Okay, good. Isabella, I need you to stop doing that. How's it going, Newton? How are you doing tonight, man? I am so not used to playing this game. Victory! I can't get used to him, honestly, if you want the truth. I cannot get used to this guy. Like, it's too weird knowing every single primary attack is just your buster shot. I think I'm over-reliant on, um... On physical attacks instead of special attacks, which I probably should be using more and more now. Time battle, only certain Pokemon will appear from battle. Then I kind of just wanted to let myself play, um... A little bit of Smash. And also just give you guys a heads up, a, um... The, um... Steam sale finally started. So bad at this. Oh, go. Okay, Ever, you can give me the triple. Kind of wish you could actually throw more at the same time. Like, more Metal Blades at the same time. <laughs> Waiting for the last Spider-Man DLC. I'm surprised... I'm surprised they actually still have one. When they say this game... Everyone is here. They mean everyone. I don't think Mega Man's a character for me. I'm way too reliant on... So, to kind of give my background on Smash Brothers, I don't really have an in-depth one like a lot of other people. I kind of just played the game for fun. I didn't really have a competitive scene or anything around us. To actually play the game at that, you know, at this level. Oh my god, there's smoke bombs everywhere. You can see why top fans considered good. What's the last Spider-Man DLC about, then? I'm also glad they really actually really went out of their way to kind of add a lot of different characters. Like, it's a nice homage to all the games of old. Heck, maybe it actually might convince them to actually do an investment. Let's do... let's do Dribble and Spitz. All fighters move faster and can't stop as quickly. Impact run, undamaged attack. I wonder how powerful that actually would be. Ready? Go! Well, that didn't last long. Okay, uncon- No, 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 no.
Okay, this is actually uncontrollable speed, and my dying. So what do you actually do with the, uh... Like, what do you do with Mega Man? Like, I don't know how to play him well enough. I really actually don't. Some buster. Victory! Yeah, I don't think I'll be playing Mega Man. As much as I want to actually get good with Mega Man, I think he's very counterintuitive to my play style. Although I do appreciate him actually being in this game. I appreciate a lot of characters being in this game, but it's honestly to the point where it's it's too many, honestly. That's that's the thing that's honestly intimidating to me. There's too many. Who the heck is Wanda? Yoshi, Peach, Mario, and Halutina. And playing the Mario Paint song. This is Mario Paint. Why isn't that on the Switch yet? It's a tablet, for goodness sake. Why don't we have the Mario Paint app? Go! Oh, I've ramming attack. Victory! I don't understand there's like over a thousand spirits in this game. If you actually want to unlock everyone, you better do World of Light. <laughs> then you're going to be spending a lot of time in Spirit Board. Ooh, Trevor Belmont. Look at that. Okay, that's... Hang, hang on a second. Well, you can actually... You can actually... Hang on a second. That's wrong. Uh... Is there a fight level a power? Okay, that works. 87, 96. This is the power of battery man. This is... It's better to actually play in against the type. What is the... So let's see how this, the settings for this condition here. Hostile assist trophies will appear when the enemies have fight damage and any portions of people in the battle. Oh, that's terrible. What the music, though. Trevor Beaumont's in Castlevania 3. He's in Castlevania 3, he also appears in Symphony of the Night. And... If he saw it in the anime... I don't know, actually, because I don't own Netflix. I don't watch... I don't... Oh, I don't have access to Netflix. I think what I'll do... Where's our, where's our Elite Beat agents here? I, I actually just kind of been using last used. Because, let's be honest, Elite Beat agents are actually that good. No, he's not in Lord of Shadows. Lord of Shadows is Gabriel Belmont. They kind of... They, in Lord of Shadows, they actually got to write 
uh, their own story uh, for that. Oh, Metast- oops. Oh, I need a grappler. My mistake. I was going to battle with a- with a- uh, yes, I need- I need Toad. Of all characters, I need Toad. I guess I have as much power as possible. Actually... Give myself another Smash. Yeah, Gabriel has yes, Shadow's Mirror of Fate. I never got to play that actually. I I, I own it thanks to yeah, the Steam sale. Ah, oh, come on. Dodge that. They literally just parry that. Oh, that's not. Uh, I have no idea where I am right now. That's actually worrying me. Okay, the leaf shield's actually really good. Don't worry about that. That's a problem. I just bought the, the HD remastered on PC. Oh, I can't believe that actually. Still in it. Surprisingly, still in it. Never mind. Oh, I'm out. Uh, I I knew that was an uphill battle. I knew that was an uphill battle from the start. That's honestly really rough. That's a very rough battle, actually. I do not actually... I actually can't do this one. Huh? No, this is actually really dumb, actually. There are some battles here you don't want to even try. Huh. The king looks amazing. There are some battles you don't want to try. Street Pass Me Plaza series. Honestly, I think you can get Shadows of, uh, uh what was it, uh, yeah, sh uh, Mirror of Fate. They're pretty cheap, actually. Ready, go! Apparently we all have raccoon uh, raccoonies. Oh, no. Okay, I need to stop doing that. Missing. Oh no. Victory! Or she could just kill herself. Fine. Perfect. Good job. I don't know how people actually get good at Mega Man. This is weird. I'm actually glad they have a bunch of memes for the uh, meat fighters. 
Princess Shokora from the Boreo Land. When did Shokora show up? Who is Princess Shokora anyway? Is that from the Shake It series? Or the Shake It game? Ready? Go! Yeah, it is from Shake It actually. You gotta be really tactical. Left is the princess. Uh, three, wait, that didn't actually work. No, you can't. The one thing you actually, pro I honestly expected you to do, you can't actually do in this game. I honestly expected to be able to jump and, uh, like, ooh. Another lightning bolt. On, it's a time battle. Damn it. I was messing around too much and I have no idea. I, like I said, I can't play Mega Man with a damn here. That, that's, that's what we're learning today. We are learning we can't play Mega, cannot play Mega Man. Pain will suddenly flip. Let's, let's not have that happen, shall we? Thankfully there's lots of spirits that just prevent certain challenges from basically occurring. Ready? Go! Like, is there supposed to be a way you actually play Mega Man, or am I just really not playing him correctly? Cause I feel like I'm missing something. Although I will say the one downside about this game is that leveling up the spirits in this game is really is really time consuming. Oh god, a gold Isabel. You don't know, you never touched them. What characters do you actually play? What characters, what characters do you guys play? See, I'm... I played Link, Kirby, Fox. I'm used to a lot of those characters. I don't even know what these coins do. What do these coins do? Apparently it's enough for Meowth to shoot me with payday. Give me more money. I don't even know if this actually does anything. Oh, it gives invulnerability, okay. Or not? What? Oh, it made me gold, okay. And that apparently makes you super powerful. Okay. So that's the gimmick of this stage. Play mostly Cor uh, Corin, Greninja, and Incineroar, but random. I think one character I actually want to play as, and I've been doing it offline a little bit, is actually Daisy. Of all characters, let's go beat up Dan. Let's just go beat up Dan. It's like I went from like, okay, Link, Kirby, uh, Fox, because I played all the way back in the original. Oh, 
Dan did nothing wrong. No, you're right. Dan should be admired for his spirit. I'm surprised it's actually not in this game. It's actually Chung Li. I'm surprised we don't actually have Chung Li in this game. What's his power? Dangerously high winds are in effect. And let's see if we can pull this off against Fox Luigi. Air attack. I don't even know what spirit would actually be good for, uh... Like, it's interesting how versatile Mega Man actually is as a character, but you really have to know how to use everything. To an absurd degree. And feeling not good against. Oh shoot! Well, we just walked into a zap floor. So there's two kind of floors. Actually, there's a lot of different floors. Okay, good. This is actually a safe one. Seriously. If you're going to stay at the bottom there, you... Oh, so you can actually... I didn't know you could actually aim your shot. Hey, how's it going, Sonic Crow? Didn't you do crits for days yet last night? Didn't you do crits for days last night? Thank you very much for the raid. How are you doing, man? I've been... I'm just kind of enjoying... Enjoying the challenge board here, or the spirit board. It, it's got its hooks in me pretty deep, honestly. And I kind of messed up and end up fighting a spirit with a zap board. Come on. Stop doing that. And I died. Just got two crits in her. Yeah, it was thunderous. I'm too. Ooh, Nino. I'm getting ready for the whole Fire Emblem thing. I mean, technically, I'll be honest, actually, like, leveling up characters and stuff in this is. It's kind of a drag, but at the same time, like, you can actually just easily level up characters with the snack system. And so I don't know how to actually feel about this whole spirit board system in reality. In, in Come on. Yeah, 
Yeah, but I've I haven't played Brawl. I haven't played Smash Brothers Melee since Brawl. So kind of tells you where I come from in this whole thing. So I'm not used to really like 90% of all these characters now. Although I'm surprised he has an uppercut move. Like seriously, what what when did Mega Man get an uppercut move? There we go, we got Nino. Really undamaged attack? That's not a good spirit. At least in my personal opinion. Hey, Risky Boots. The Bomb Festival. <laughs> Goody. I think the character I've been playing this the most as is, um... No, we don't need a staff. We don't need a staff in this area. Energy... Actually, do we have two energy shot attacks? Increase the power of energy attacks such as Fox's Blaster. Alright, let's try that. Maybe it'll actually make our Mega Buster a whole lot fa uh, stronger. Ah, Daisy. Oh, does it make it stronger? It does. It actually, it kind of looks like it does. And I totally used the wrong one. Here. Oh god, you were... Okay, bye-bye. Honestly, a match like that could go either way with at the power level I'm leveling up at. How's it going, Jonathan Groover? That's very fitting for Risky Boots up of a bomb. Let's see. Ooh, an advanced. The floor is poisonous. And Okay, well, that changes everything. Let's give ourselves some poison immunity. From Xenoblade Chronicles. Man, I really should have played that series. There were so many RPGs I actually could have played this year. But I'm actually glad I picked the ones I did, overall. I think the one... I think Pit People was a weird one. What was another weird one? Final Fantasy Type-0, that was a weird one as well. Okay, I am do not know how to fight Shulk at all. No, you stay- No, why do I have the bomb now? I feel bad against these bots that actually do jump and- jump and attack is actually working. So, not used to this. Get out of here. Okay, that's actually really fast. Get out of here. You're going okay? I remember having horrible luck with the bombs in that challenge. Honestly, whenever you have to deal with Bobombs, it's always horrible luck. It's always horrible luck when you have to deal with Bobombs. There we go. Unlocked a character named Melia. 
added 300 or more spirits to the list. It's a nice little achievement. The enemy is giant. That works. I'm guessing you guys have been playing this game a lot too, or have you had... I barely have had it any time. And did our capture... our capture card froze, didn't it? It froze, didn't it? Yeah, it froze. Hang on a second. There it goes. I don't know why our capture card froze. That's actually the... Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm, I'm... Oh no, this is a battlefield one. You need to go away. Actually, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. You can tell where I've actually been spending my time in, uh, focused on. And I actually cannot read this now. Took a while, actually, for me to get, get into the rhythm for that one. Hey, Kagori has, can actually be advanced, or enhanced. I've actually been trying to actually, like, get all the spirits that you can actually, um... That can actually evolve. So it's kind of been really fun to actually do, uh, to mess with them. Oh god. Akira's a legendary. Another... There's a lot of stamina battles for the legendary ones. High gravity. Well, let's actually try it. Let's try it. Big change the cloud. And we can give ourselves a little bit more stamina. That's... That's still a big difference. 8,000 to 14,000. But maybe we can beat Ryu. Maybe. Ready? Go! Oh no. Oh my god, your characters are so fast. I am so not used to this. Oh god, this is not good at all. I've barely done any damage to them. That's the thing that actually kind of makes this so imbalanced. What? No, Capcom, don't do this to me. Probably not gonna do anything. It didn't do anything. That's the he that's the that's the difference in power that exists in this in this mode. For better and for worse. There's just a lot of fights at the legendary level that are absolutely ridiculous. Like you, like what was it when this when the first was it like the character with glasses? James McCloud is actually the uh, the four star to unlock, and I probably spent three days just trying to unlock him as a character. No. I already. I didn't have my jump. I didn't have my jump. A gamer. 
I think I'm better with Marth, Link, Kirby, Fox, or Falco now, I guess. There's just a lot of characters I want to try and learn. I want to try and learn play Daisy. I want to try the Castlevania guys. Tonight I'm kind of dedicating to Mega Man, and I'm slowly learning I shouldn't play Mega Man. I am not a Mega Man player. I'm surprised how powerful they made the Clue Clue land enemies. Get away in here. The enemy loves to taunt. Have you guys actually played this spirit board? And if so, like, what kind of challenges have you actually liked? I think I've played enough of them now that they kind of all merge Ready? together into this Go! single group. Also, one thing about Killing Edge, if you see it ever turning purple, you can throw it and it'll still count as a critical hit. <laughs> you can actually throw the sword one, the moment it becomes purple. An electric attack? That's a weird thing for a wing. I'm actually surprised. None of the Fire Emblem characters, like very few Fire Emblem characters, have any sort of, um, have any sort of, um, Ability to enhance. I've only come across one. Only one of the Fire Emblem spirits so far can be uh, can actually be enhanced past level 99. Ready, go! And let's let all those squirtles just go up. Oh, they're immune. Okay, this is actually a problem. Oh, I just died. No, I just... Getting close, though. Oh, God, that side attack is actually really good. Damn squirrels. <laughs> hey, Mr. Frosty. Floor is frozen. I gotta see ice climbers. I'm just amazed how much music they actually added in this game. Ready? Go! That was really imbalanced because of the power level difference. I think like if you have a power level difference of like 2,000, you probably shouldn't even try to fight an enemy. At least if you're talking like the ace, like ace in legend, you can probably get away with not even having a spirit on um, 
on novice, maybe advanced. If you if the challenge is like is like this, take your strongest team into this no frills battle. And I don't know why I'm actually leveling up the Metal Gear uh, Spirit. Aside from the fact he can be a level uh, level past Mega Man. Really gotta figure out how to actually play. Oh no! I did not expect that to be an instant kill. I cannot believe there was actually an instant kill in this game. The enemy's energy attacks have increased power, hostile trophies, and instant sudden death. Let's, let's actually fix that, shall we? She shot attack resistance. No, that's not what we need. Where's the fairy in a bottle? Where's our fairy in a bottle? It actually is an act. There you go, there's a fairy in a bottle. I'll take the increased damage if we're going into sudden death immediately. Ready? Go! Careful, they're powerful. Look at all these little missiles. I suppose you can actually fire more missiles than I can. Oh, I didn't kill myself. I just killed myself. No, no. Oh, that's this is trophy. Come on. Damn it. That's not a pain intended to love me. Oh my god, the wind cave. A giant jigglypuff. You constantly take minor damage, the enemy is a giant. I... We, we have to try. We have to try this. We have slumber immunity, we have strong throw, and actually that works. Let's see if we can take out the windfish. Get that back. I'm already, I'm already flowery. I can't believe that actually killed me. Well, that's a shame. Severa? What the heck is Severa? Oh, goody, powerful crits at random. There was a child to get an awakening. Oh, okay. I really, I really did miss out a lot of like, not getting to play awakening, didn't I? How long does that go? It's like actually, Mega Man's stuff actually has like a. I, I want to say like 20, 20 meter range. It's a shame a lot of the Fire Emblem Spirits, I barely come across any good Fire Emblem Spirits. Like, most of them just kind of seem like they're cannon fodder. Weld? What the heck is Soma Bringer? Wait, isn't this a stamina battle? 
You have reduced defense. Laid off defense. Oh, okay, that actually... I'm okay with that. Probably could have actually used the increased HP, but still. Ready? Go! Yeah, I'm used to playing, what is it, uh... Oh, hello. Can I not? Okay. Okay, I need to not do that. I'm actually surprised this smash attack reaches. No ultimates for you. Thornbringer was a JRPG from Monosoft for the DS and only a monolith. It was Shulk before Shulk then. I'm actually surprised, like, the one thing I'm interested in is... What did Sandlot, the game company, actually contribute here? Because... Sandlot is the are the developers of um are the developers of um EDF. And yet they're involved in the development of this game. That's why it just doesn't mix I just don't know what exactly they did. This is the first game after Marvel Pop Go! First game. Oh my goodness, you have a lot of power. Oh my god, you do not get stunned. And you just constantly use your power, don't you? And you do not you do not fall to you. Oh no. He picked up the goddamn Oh, I get it. Oh no. Okay. How did he just absorb that? Victory! And down goes Goliath. Come here, bald, bald bull. Trade off defense. Actually, I wonder. Alright, time to do something stupid. Time to do something stupid. I'm just, I'm curious enough to try this. Trade off ability. Where was he? I'm just curious to see if this actually works. Time battle, and we lost Tong. Ready? Go! Yep, that actually does stack. Yeah, so you could literally stack up for one single stack. I wonder if you can get more than uh, nine shield spacers. Hey, falling immunity, it's about time. I was wondering if I'd be able to get something like that. Deep breathing, Camilla. 
Luigi, Mario. That's a lot of ace characters. Oh, this is gonna be a massacre on me. This is gonna be a massacre. I tried four of these things. And I just... What is with this capture card tonight? It does not want to... It does not want to play nice today. This is actually the first time it's done this. That's the weirder part. No! They're praising the sun at maximum levels. Oh my god, I can't do damage to them. And they're all healing, and they also have defense, and I, they'll be using my own lipstick against me. As I demonstrate. That's not a normal form for the weak bit trainer. Focus on stretching your back. Oh my god. I barely did 10% damage to those things. Sute Hakun. Never saw this one before. Doesn't look like he comes from Kickle Cubicle, that's for certain. Or he's not a Snow Brother either. I suppose they would give me invisibility. Victory! Oh, then again, he was a novice. Transformation duration. Ooh, that is actually really good. I have a spear that actually goes well with that. Diver ring, uh, wing. Type that over the rocket belt. I actually do like this. I like, there's always some sort of challenge. Ready? Like, I've yet to personally Go! see the, um, match to actually have, or a board to actually be actually fully empty. Just because of how long some fights actually can take. Oh, look at this Mode 7. You've never seen the pilot wings take before. There's also new sports resort. He's gonna walk on that, isn't he? Okay, this game. Get out of here. Victory! I need you off this plane. Because I need to get another plane. I really do hope they actually do port, um... Star Fox Zero to the Switch as well. And also give us the option to actually just play without the motion controls. Hey, it's Sci Fight. Apparently, I've actually beaten this before. Wait. No, not undamaged speed. That's a, a terrible one. Escape, magic attack, attack run, instant drop. Furry immunity. 
Actually, a lot of these things, immunities I missed. I haven't noticed. It's hard to battle with the super scope. I've always just been using like the elite beat agents. They've always been really reliable. Ready? Go! Oh my god. I really ought to start using the right stick. Something tells me I played that before, considering the shield was shaved. Move speed up. Thanks. Hey, flashback. A time stamina battle. Oh cool, he has his own dedicated remix. Ready? Go! I really, I'll be honest, I actually just don't like Mega Man's moveset. I'm just not used to it at all. Oh no. Oh, that actually did not launch him as much as I thought it would. Victory! Ah, oh, damn it! Shot too early. One of the few times I actually shot too early. Oh, that's gonna be punishing. Wait, he was a novice, wasn't he? No, he was in advance. Green flip immunity. Oh, I already have that, though. The little mouser. Enemy has throwing type items have increased power. And enemies have increased room speed. I love the little artwork for the spirits, too. See, this is why in artwork, uh, concept artwork Ready? matters. Oh, no boomerang. Unless it's mine. Can I just step on that? Victory! I will say, once your spirit becomes a little too powerful, Things start to become really easy. Like, you could uh, honestly stomp the entire challenge mode. Or the entire spirit board if you really, really wanted to. Another time stamina battle. Let's see, like, where's, where's our pig? We had a pig that actually gave us double, uh, more HP. I feel like I could actually use that right now. 
the heck is he? There he is. This Professor Chops. I think you'd probably have more fun just simply playing the game rather than feeding all your spirits a bunch of snacks. Oh, that is... What, does K, K. Rule not do anything? No, because he does anything. He does not do anything. That is actually kind of weird for a challenge. He didn't do anything. Then again, I guess it makes sense for the imprisoned, because he rarely moved. Oh my goodness, that's actually going to be a powerful spirit for a two-star. The downside is you don't actually get any uh, support spirits. Although I heard from Dragonfire that Akuma is actually really powerful. All fighters take serious damage. The enemy favors dash attacks. The enemy has increased move speed. I'm so not used to playing Palutena. Ready? Go! What, to Akuma being power? Oh my god. I just killed myself. I just killed myself. I put the bomb back on myself. I put the bomb back on myself. Good, good job. Good job. Join forces with the CPU allies. Stamina battle, the enemy is giant. Ready? Oh. All of them are it's actually pretty solid in this. That was a- that's an enemy from Pikmin? Um, it definitely looks like one. It looks like a Bulbarb with, uh... With fur. The floor is frozen. Oh, well, let's fix that. Ice floor immunity. He's from Hey Pikmin. What's Ready? Hey Pikmin? Go! Oh, no! Well, that finally happened. I'm actually surprised that worked. Kirby songs have always been good. Like, it's, it's hard to actually find a bad Kirby song. Like, you're more likely to actually find a, um... an average song. Hey, Pikmin is a 2D platformer Pikmin that got released with the 3DS. Man, honestly, it seems like I missed a lot of games from the DS. Oh, cool, we can get another Waddle D. I could, I could use another Waddle Dee. Waddle Dees are amazing. They become bandana Waddle Dees. They're like little Spartans. Are they seriously not, they're not gonna do anything. All right, everyone out. This is my game. This is Mega Man Land, uh, Dream Land. I can dream of a little boy. You guys need to get out of here. Yeah. 
No. Victory! Mega Man Dreamland. Needless to say, Bandana Wall D is actually pretty good. At least if you use the right- at least if you're like a support spirit build. Periodic Earthquakes was- oh, well, we're gonna actually match you now. Light- why would I want to be lightweight? Sounds like a terrible idea. Air attack? I have no idea what. Oh, okay with the weak it means. Against three duck trios. Ready? This is actually probably a stage I don't like anymore. Just simply because you don't get to grab onto the side like you used to. So many Pokemon. Also, why isn't it a uh, Diglett? I would, I would expect like Diglett to evolve into Doug Trio. Phantom, maybe Piranha from Super Mario Strikers. Wow. Let's fight a giant. That is a. Very creepy looking PD Piranha. Ready? Go! Oh no. I love all the soccer balls on the field. It takes forever to level up a spirit. Like even the two star ones take like, take way too long. You know, I know there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat Pauline. There's no way. Be smart about this. The enemy starts the battle with the super scope. I love Blastoise. Like Squirtle was my starter Pokemon when the, the for the one Pokemon game I actually played. I chose Squirtle. Ready? I never regretted that decision. Go! So does Leaf Shield actually protect you from all projectiles, or is it just like a... Uh... Seems like I actually already took a shot at Blastoise before. I never got him. And of course he weakness to electric. Ooh. 
Let's use a super scope. Sure, why not? Sometimes they actually just give you the most random support spirits. Ready? Like it Go! doesn't make sense. Although apparently it could be for good reason. Victory! I couldn't even see her. That's the best part about that whole thing. Ooh, Phantom can be enhanced. Now that's gonna be worth investing. Pseudo Pelutena. Only certain Pokemon will evolve, uh, will emerge. That is a creepy face. Also, what's with the backwards P? Trying to pull off a Waluigi there or something? Ready? Go! Ditto? Oh no! See, I don't know what that game actually wanted to be. Like, it looks like it just is a really, really good rail shooter, and I actually like rail shooters. Rail shooters can be a lot of fun. It, it's like all the game genres that I would want to play aren't really being made anymore. Nintendoji? What the heck is Nintendoji? Now, Bed Uprising, I think, is honestly probably like that was actually one of the one of the let's plays of Chugga Conroy I actually watched. Like Ready? honestly, like Chugga Conroy makes a really weird. Oh my god, what the heck is this? Alright. Uh oh, can we turn around? Thank you. Oh my god, look at this super scoper. Let's go here. What? Where are all the items? Victory! Uh, what just happened? Why did he die? Was there a mechanic in that stage I in the Great Tre uh, Great Cave Offensive that I missed? Any favors down special? Oh God, it's Joan, the turnip tra uh, tra uh, trader. I can have a bunch of peaches throwing turnips at me. Nintendo Joji is a puzzle dungeon. A puzzle dungeon crawler? That sounds awesome. I love dungeon crawlers. Ready. That's another genre that sadly doesn't get made anymore. Oh, right now, the Super Scope. Uh, Super Scope. Why'd I call it Super Scope? There's gotta be a better way to play Mega Man. I, th I feel like I'm just playing him so inefficient. Victory! Also, I really like the changes to Peaches and Daisy's, uh, Daisy's Toad Attack, or Toad Counter Attack.
start. Ooh, fire. The floor is lava. So, <laughs> this could actually be very bad. So, so this is actually the, the lava, floor being lava is actually the one I really, really hate because there's a lot of stages where it's just Ready, like that. Like it literally, like imagine basically the entire stage actually just being lava. Or I could, or I could just throw myself into the lava, that looks perfect. Oh, that's not good. Victory! It's amazing how games would never release in the West because it's so, uh, so obscure, but they have references to. I think it's good, because I think it's somewhat good. But I think it's more of a trend of um, how we're entering a world-based market now. Because a lot more game developers are basically having to develop their game with everyone, with every single cultural morality and social taboos in mind. Which is somewhat good and somewhat bad, honestly. Because the real downside, like, the upside is there's a very good chance you can see or get other games that normally wouldn't be released to be released. But the downside is, certain Ready, games that might have go. certain content in it gets heavily censored. Because, like, the cultural norms of China, for example, are a lot different than the cultural norms of, say, uh, the United States. And never mind even Jap Japan's market, in, a, in, you know, by itself. Die to the flower. So like I said, it's, it's a major... It's a... It's, it's really a back and forth, honestly. It's a major back and forth. Between what you earn... What, what you get and what you lose. Please, missed. Nice. Defense and health recovery. That's actually not bad. I always hated when Mist actually got, like, max strength in Fire Emblem. Or any- or any healer, actually. Ready, Didn't even need the strength. Go! Oh, right, I okay. Get 
No fighting for your friends. Oh. That's one other mechanic in this game I'll never get is the parry system. You always get bad luck. Yeah, my favorite, honestly, my favorite, I guess you'd say favorite character would actually probably be, uh, Lucius. Like, he was a friend to Raven. Probably, Raven was actually probably one of my favorite characters in Fire Emblem. Which I'm surprised, he's actually in this game as a spirit, which is, hey, awesome. Second, take that guy. Downside is he's only a one star. Mouth full of curry. Endo Kensaku. What the heck is that thing? Oh, I don't have anything for this. Instant drop. Let's actually try that. Or is Electrify the enemy favorite side specials? This is probably gonna be really bad, actually. Bob and Game & Watch. That's a weird looking spirit. Ready? Okay, Go! good. We at least have some flaw. Yeah, I think I'm really... I think you can play a really good Mega Man, but it is. this is hard to play a good Mega Man. Ah, darn it. No! Although, Sonic in Mega Man's up special certainly is very, very similar. That actually made him mean. I can't believe that actually made him mean. Funny to tell, he is from a party game about the internet. Interesting. Well, like at least he got electric interest. Not electric floor immunity, though. That's actually what we want. Let's see. Whoops. Wrong one. Haji Mari no Mori. Love the music. I just really appreciate they have so much music in this game. Like, even if you only hear it, like, maybe once or twice. Knowing that there's so much in this game. Go! I'd honestly argue that actually doing the spirit board would probably actually unlock characters faster. Like, short of doing the glitch. Or, not glitch, no, it's not really a glitch, exploit. It's an exploit. Right. Love that. Endo Kensaku is a mini-game compilation where the players attempt to predict the number of search results on Google. Weird. That's actually kind of cool, though. Is a super leaf. All right. I think we're actually at that point. Let's see what comes in. Other nice feature. Yeah, we're actually at stopping time here, and the Fire Emblem Fest is actually just about to begin. You know, I'm actually curious about one thing. There we go. Yeah, so the event actually just started. Darn F. Floor sleep inducing. Darn F. So, I want, so with the legendaries, 
they'll actually stick for the entire hour. So you actually get a lot of time to actually take them on. So I did not know if he had any dark. Okay, you need to stop. That was actually really good. But I'm have too much more power than you. Almost like the first version of you know. For you don't know Jack was a great game. I really miss. Like, I'm glad they actually brought back You Don't Know Jack. The sad part is, I'm not good at You Don't Know Jack anymore. Yeah, so, con so like, these bottom two rows are constantly always going to get uh, rewards. But you have this first time here, so say the. I wins, the enemy has increased move speed and reduced weight. That's actually a very fair battle. Actually, extremely fair battle. Actually, ability, energy shot attack. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch over to Captain Toad here, because that'll actually give us that'll actually give us the best uh, advantage we can possibly get. Yeah, which I'm actually gonna do trade off here. Where was what the heck was that in? There it is, trade off ability. Yeah, it was trade off ability, right? No wait, it was stats. That was the one that actually like trades stats. Hang on a second. Skill. This is slumber. This immunities. Trade offs. Here we are. You know, undamaged attack. I know I had a stats one. Yes, I didn't have a trade stats. Oh no. Okay, so it is the. It is these guys. In. Okay. Let's see if we can actually beat this. We'll give, we'll give it one shot. We're probably gonna lose because it's Mega Man. Ready? Go! Oh God damn it! Even Mars here. Should have actually saw that coming. system in this game is going to be nuts. Oh, I can be easily launched. She just saved me. She just saved me. Get out of here. I can't believe we actually won that. But there's a problem. Look how fast that actually goes. That's a little insane. The downside is we're actually going to use our sluggish shield here. Oh my, really? Yeah, we're doing it that way. I don't want to. I want to get her as soon as possible because she actually only appears every day for only one time. Increase jump. That, that was actually worth using our items for. Those are actually extremely rare to get.
Yes, we know, we just got her. <laughs> I think the final thing we'll do here... We were actually leveling up, uh... We actually have a lot of characters. Even we have, even have, uh, Full Armor X. As a legendary spirit. Right, rank descending... There's a two-star... There we go. Revolver Ocelot. So there's actually a snack system in this game that you can actually level up your characters. And this is kind of what... Leveling up a character just by playing the game takes a long time. But the snack system... Kind of trivializes everything. Like, a medium snack will give them a thousand experience. So he'll actually gain a level. A large snack, five thousand. The stream... The stream froze again. God damn it. Audio's still going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing. I don't know why it's freezing. Like, that's the downside of... I do need to upgrade this computer. That definitely is one thing I need to actually do. I need to upgrade... Um... This computer. Unfortunately. Because I'm only using USB... Like, I have a three USB 3.1 PCI card... In my computer, which is allowing me to even use this capture card. But it's one of the downsides of, um... That's why I'm really, not really a huge fan of the externals, but... I never have any good luck with capture cards. That's why I've actually... That's why I've always been very... I've never really actually been able to really even make, like, a Let's Play or anything like that, because I can never find... good recording software or good recording settings... for my computer. Or something that I've actually been able to, like, say, like, okay, that's actually good quality. It's always been one of those weird, you know, one of the terrible things. It's like, I, tr I bought a lot of capture cards, actually. Um, starting all the way back from the Dazzles and such. Um, the Dazzles actually worked, but I only had, you know, there was composite. And by the time I actually was able to even afford it, everyone was already moved on to, like, the HD stuff. So the Hopages and, uh... The start, like, HDMI actually just you know, was taking off at that time. We're gonna feed Ocelot here. We're actually gonna back now. Like I said, you can kind of trivialize level with this character. So if you get a character that can actually be enhanced to level 99, you can actually increase their strength, but they'll go back to level 1. And it becomes... Revolver, Revol Revolver Ocelot from Metal Gear Solid 5. And now he becomes an ace character. And he also has a special ability too. So all the enhanceable characters... Actually all have a special ability. So for Revolver Ocelot... You can actually slightly increase the power of projectile weapons such as bows or guns. Makes sense, because it's Revolver Ocelot. Then you have other characters like... Uh, let's see here, where's Bandana Model B? Or like, you know, Metal Face, for example. You get to become Metal and Giant at the start of a fight. He's really good. Or Mega Man, or X. He starts as X and then he becomes Full Armor X. And he gets Super Armor. Like, he just permanently gets Super Armor. And it's that little, it's like, it's those nice little touches and stuff. I actually want to really try, like, find people who want to try the whole spirit thing. And it's like, okay, you can only use, you know, let's say ace level spirit, so three star. Or advanced, so two star and stuff, because... If you just instantly go for, like, just the four stars and stuff, I could easily see it. It could be fun at first, but then it can get really, really stale. But playing with a lower level of power and such, it honestly might be a very interesting concept. And I'd want to actually see more of... But that's gonna do it for me, guys, here. I'm gonna go and go off and enjoy the Fire Emblem Fest. Get yourself some more Fire Emblem heroes and such. And remember, to, don't be afraid to actually use those snacks, because you're always going to get a lot more, especially if you play the Spirit Board. For now, though, I'm gonna take a look here. There's actually a couple of things going on right now. Looks like right now, actually, the Top Down Perspective is actually doing their podcast. It's uh, one with Sean Booker, uh, Exposure, and Proton John, where they basically kind of talk about what happened during the week. And what games they've been playing and stuff. It's a nice little chill hangout stream. And I'm also I'm gonna give my host over to Cthulhu the Third. He's actually back 
I'm glad he's back actually streaming a bunch of retro games. Actually, very interesting. It looks like he's streaming Maniac Mansion right now. So, go check him out. He is definitely one of... He's easily one of the best chill streams I've ever watched. But, until then though, guys, thank you very much for watching. You guys, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. We'll probably actually try uh, Smash Online. I might try Smash Online. I'm actually... I'll be honest. I actually don't know what to do now, now that I've beaten... Spending a year of going through RPGs has easily been one of the more difficult things to actually do during, um... Because once you actually beat the game, it's like, well, crap, what do I play next? <laughs> but until then, though, guys, thanks very much for watching. And until then, take care.